It's fine. It's fine, I'm going to start it tomorrow. It's fine, I'll start next month. It's fine, I've got a lot of things on at the moment. I'll do it in three weeks. I'll do it in five weeks. After that seminar, after that presentation, after this launch. I will do it. How many times have you said that as an entrepreneur when it comes to optimizing your health? When it comes to creating a better version of yourself? How many times have you procrastinated because of your health? Got to that day and you then make another deadline. Creating deadlines for you to start this is actually making you more and more unhealthy. Allowing those love handles to grow. Allowing that computer belly to get more and more established. We say we're going to do something. Then we make an excuse because we're worried about what actually happens if I do this and it doesn't work. I failed. I failed again when it comes to my health. The problem with waiting a month, waiting two months, and I say this from personal experience, personal experience when I was still a successful professional in this industry. Coming up to my wedding in 2016, I knew I'd put on a little bit of weight, but I made an excuse. I'm busy planning a wedding. I'm busy building my business. I wasn't planning a wedding. I'm just paying for it. The wife does the planning. She wants it, she gets it. We all know that story. But I used it as an excuse. I will do something to optimize my health. I will do something to get accountable after the wedding. When I said that, I had around eight, nine kilos to lose. That's about 20 pounds maybe. However, because I waited until after my wedding, which at the time was five, six weeks away, I let that stress build up. Then I started being lenient thinking, it's fine, I'm going to start after the wedding. I can have this, I can have that, I can skip that training session. It's fine, I'm busy with work. I've got client work to do. I pushed my health to the side, knowing that I'm going to do something about it in the future. Well, the future came. 2nd of May, the day after my wedding, I jumped on the scales. I had around 45 pounds I figured I wanted to lose. Now, because I delayed, my health had got worse. My strength had gone down, my testosterone had gone down, my endurance had gone down. Climbing up a flight of stairs, those flight of stairs were a bitch. Even walking around the street, I would increase my heart rate and get a little bit gassed because I pushed it back because I didn't start when the time was right and it may not be your health it may not be your fitness it may not be these things you need to optimize and get accountability in but if there is something you are pushing off you know up here you know in your heart whether you are making an excuse because if you are going to start in three, four, five weeks, what is wrong with starting now? Yes, you may be a little bit busy at this moment in time. But you can always do a little bit, which builds up, builds up, and builds up. Creating these habits one step after another, after another. And before you know it, You've already started to get some amazing results. 
So if you've got £10 to lose, don't wait until it's £20, until it's £30, until it's £40. Why not make some small incremental changes, which mean that when you get to that date you were going to start at, you've no longer got £10 to lose. You've only got five, or maybe even less. The choice is yours. Only you know whether you're procrastinating and making excuses on something you could, you could definitely take action on today. If you want to talk further about my optimization and accountability coaching, get your health 100% where you deserve to be, then get in touch. Drop me a comment, hit up Ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com or go to revitalizationblueprint.com, click contact and we will book a call immediately.